Hi everybody, welcome back. Oh, first of all, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I have not put any new videos up in the last three weeks. Life's been a little cray cray and I'm doing this diet thing and it's really draining me. But if you guys want to know more about it, please comment below and let me know and I will do a video on that. And also if you guys see a difference, I don't know, let me know. Is it working? What? Do you guys see anything different? What do you see? <laughs> I like to know I'm getting my money's worth. Um, so, anywho, here we go. QVC had the ex their exclusive Tarte package again, and I missed last year's package. Well, I didn't miss it because I had the Amazonian Clay Foundation, and that's kind of what it was all about. And then it wasn't until they ran out of my color that I was like, hey, I want to get that because it came with like some great lip product, and that's all I really remember is the lip product and the brush. So, by the time I went back to buy it, my color was already sold out, and it sucked, but it's okay, because this time, I got it, and I'm so excited to share that with you. So, this is called, I already opened it up a little, they give you um, a makeup bag, which is made out of canvas, which is pretty decent. Um, I'll use it. I definitely will use it. Um, I need big makeup bags, obviously, because I take it. I end up like throwing everything in my makeup bag and just taking it with me to work. And I used to carry, I will be serious, I don't have anything the size of it. Actually, yeah, I don't. I used to carry a makeup bag that was actually the size of um, a beach bag. Maybe not that big. I don't know. It was pretty big. It was, yeah, it was about this big. Mm -hmm. Seriously, that was my makeup bag. Big pink makeup bag every day to work. Probably for a good six to eight months and then finally I was like this is a little crazy I'm bringing everything with me to work so yeah I stopped doing that but um people can't believe they're like oh look at you with all your your purse and what, what's in the big pink bag <sighs> my makeup yeah so this collection is called Tarte Beauty Without Boundaries and yeah I was really the thing I was looking forward to were um the brushes and the concealer i'm always into concealers just because i do have really horrible bags and circles i have really bad circles not bags bags don't tend to be my problem no matter how late i stay up they're not my problem are my circles those are the worst and no matter what i think it's just um it's it's I can't even talk. Me and my older sister, um, I have three siblings, but me and my older sister, the one right next to me in age, we actually have the same complexion, and we both have, out of my other brother and my sister, we're the only two that have really horrible circles. Except hers aren't that bad. Hers aren't as bad as mine, but for me, mine are horrible. But we're the only two that have this problem no matter what so but we both have allergies and we're the two that tend to suffer from the most allergies too so I guess that all makes sense but um I drink nothing but water especially now because I'm on this diet nothing but water and I was drinking herbal tea but then I stopped I'm just like I'm just drinking water I don't know why it's just it's easier and I'm lazy I don't know <laughs> so it's not a dehydration problem but yeah I have really bad circles, so I'm always about the concealer. Pop this out. So that's what it was. The brushes and the concealers what caught my eye. It's a BB Tarte. BB Tinted Under Eye Corrector. Everything now is like corrector. They're not doing their concealer bits anymore. It's all about the corrector. So I like this. This is in the color Fair to Line. It's actually a lot darker has a little bit more color than I had than I thought it was so I'm really happy about that because I was kind of nervous that it was going to be too um, white but of course it's a BB cream so I could end up putting this on and it could end up looking like lotion but um, I'm really intrigued about that and everybody like I was saying everybody's coming out with like um, correctors there's like you have your concealer and now you have your correctors so like Bobby Brown which I really love their um, I think it's the peach corrector works really well, really well under my eyes to counter that darkness and blue or purple for my dark circles. 
So the next thing in here is a BB Tinted Treatment 12-Hour Primer. And this has SPF 30. And it says it's a 12-hour primer, buildable coverage, oil-free moisturizer, pore minimizer, skin brightener, and chemical-free sun protector. All about that, baby. So, yeah. So, yeah. Don't worry. I know I'm not really swatching. I'm not going to end up swatching anything, really. But don't worry. I'm definitely going to do a get ready video with me using this product, using just this product. And um, you guys will probably see this video. No, 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 no. I bought the Laura Geller um, from QVC. That video is going to go up before this video goes up. And that's actually what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing, um, I have concealer on and then I just have the powder foundation, the mineralized um, foundation. And that's all I have on today. And what else do I have from her package? What was it? It was blush lip gloss and the baked foundation. I just have on the baked foundation and the blush which mama likes. So and then for my lipstick I actually have on my Inglots number 36 or 31. I don't know. It's the only one that I can I wear a lot from Inglot. It's actually the only lipstick I have from Inglots. Let me correct that. So the next thing, I'm sorry, I'm popping stuff out of the packaging and it's really tight in there. The next thing I was like super excited about besides the um, corrector for under the eye was this dual end brush. I love flat top brushes. They're, they are like the best for applying makeup and making it look really fine. I have, um, because of my allergies and my sensitivity to my skin for some reason, my skin is like really crazy. So when I use brushes, it actually makes my skin look really dry. Um, so I've been using my Beauty Blender. But I was so excited about this because I love this. And I feel like you could just really get in under the... Actually, they give you a concealer brush. I don't know why I would even use that. But you could really get into like the areas around your nose, your mouth, whatnot. And then I love anything, like I said, flat top. And I even own the Sigma. I love those. What are they called? I forgot what they're called. It's their Sigma. I believe one's F80. That's the one I have. I have their, um, why am I talking about them right now? It's all about Tarte. I'm sorry. But the point is, I love flat top brushes. So I was really excited when I saw this, especially with it being dual end. I think that's awesome. And the next brush is like two brushes in one and I love this I know that Mac I believe they used to do something like this where it was two brushes in one I want to say it was them like years ago maybe five or six years ago so they give you this one and it's for your your uh, corrector for under the eye this is the dark side is to apply it to your face and this one is to smooth no I'm sorry this side is to uh, apply to your face because it's like a regular concealer brush. And this side is to smooth it out. So I really like this. I don't know, I like these brushes. They're so fancy. I love them. Okay, so. If it's more. The next thing, I love Tarte's, um, their Lip Surgeons. Surgeons. Um, product. I'm sorry, I had to say it twice. I'm like, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> um, I usually wear the matte, and this one is what? Power Pigment. And it's in the color Awakening. Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of glossy. It's really pretty. It's almost like the color looks like when I look at this, it looks similar to Hope. But it's like a more pinky hope. It's a really pretty color. And of course it has their um, smell, like the whole mint smell and everything. I like that. It's a lot, it's skinnier and it's not as big as their um, regular ones, but I like it. We'll see how it works. It looks like a color that would be, I don't know. 
looks like a color I'd wear. So, two more items and I swear I'm done. The next thing I was looking at was the Inner Rim Liner. Now this actually, I saw this um, when I was looking at it online before it even came out when they sent you to register for it. It's a waterproof 12 hour Inner Rim Liner. I love this because I love to um, line my waterline, but nothing ever stays. Like there's been eyeliners you're like, no, it'll stay, it'll stay. It doesn't stay for me. It's because my eyes, my allergies and everything, they tear all the time. Like even when I'm wearing concealer, sometimes they'll tear and I have to go over and straighten it out in the middle of the day. So I'm really intrigued by this. I hope, I used to have another one, a skinny one that came with that was from them that came with Sephora and it was really skinny it was for your inner eye so your inner rim so huh. this has to be like similar to it and uh, they just like revamped it because it used to be super super skinny and this one's kind of the size of a eyeliner but I'm really excited to see if that will work on my waterline and stay put all day it's supposed to be 12 hours so I'm hoping Ooh really soft I like that super soft so hopefully it works for my line my inner eye or my rim the next item is the lights camera flashes and what's the other one there's another one's lights camera maybe it's the same thing but it comes in the purple and this is supposed to be um, the, that one but revamped so there's supposed to be something a little different. I'm going to go ahead and open it because I'm going to do a get ready video. Usually I wouldn't open my mascara because I already have a few open, but because I'm going to do a video with it, I'm going to go ahead and open it. So right away I can see the difference is the brush. It's actually a plastic brush and not an actual um, mascara brush. I think that's the difference. I haven't owned the uh, one in purple. I just got it in a sample from Sephora. And I wasn't too thrilled about it because it made my eyebrow, my eyelashes gray. Um, so, but I'm really excited about this one because I've heard great things about this one. So, and it's fancy because it's gold. So, yeah. So, that was it. I got that at QVC. I think it was like 59 something plus shipping and handling. 60 something it came out to. And I last time I saw it was still available but I'm not 100% sure today because I'm filming this video I think like a week after I meant to film it when did I get this yes I got this last week and I kept like I'm gonna film I'm gonna film I'm gonna get this video up and it didn't, it didn't happen at all or no I'm sorry that I got this recently no I got this on Monday and I meant to film Monday night I meant to film Tuesday night and today's Wednesday so I'm only two days behind ignore me because now I'm telling you guys stories okay so that's it and then let me tell you guys this is my hair in my natural form I woke up late for I was staying up late watching uh, Freddy Krueger so. oopsie but um kind of works for me it's just when it gets like crazy my hair was my hair sometimes will do act really well behaved and will look like this to me this is well behaved because when it's not well behaved, that means it's like not curly, it's curly, it's frizzy, and like looks like a cotton ball. My hair does that from time to time. Ooh, especially when I don't wash it. Like, if I don't wash your blow dry, it was so funny because yesterday I wore my hair to work and I thought, oh my god, it looks cute because it had like body and it was big. I didn't wash it yesterday. And um, I was like, I'm not going to blow dry it. It's curled in certain parts on its own. Oh, this is beautiful. This is cute. I to work and I was like, wait, all for it. Like my hair was like, there was little baby hairs and it was completely frizzy and embarrassing and I did not realize, I don't know what I was thinking. I think my mirror at home is like, I don't know, carnival mirror. I don't know. I was seeing what I wanted to see and then I got to work and I was like, ooh, who are you? <laughs> so anyways, um, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely going to do a get ready video with, with this product. I'm very excited about that and um, 
also need to do a get ready video with the Laura Galler stuff. I really did like it. I don't know if I'm going to leave it on auto um, delivery because I'm not crazy about it. But I do like it. If you're somebody that likes powdered foundations, I think it's really great. I'm more of like a liquid foundation. And for me, actually, the biggest part that I didn't like about it is like when I apply it during the middle of the day or after work. Like you really have to go through it and make sure you're like... Um, really define like dusting it out or whatever I don't know because it starts to cake up so that was my only downside but that can only be my my skin my problem because my mom hasn't had a problem with it but she does not touch up as frequently as I do so that was it thank you guys and have a great night bye <laughs> bye